Are you thinking of getting the Cisco DevNet certification? If that's the case, in this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why you should go for the Juniper DevOps certification before going for the Cisco DevNet Associate. Better yet, I'm going to tell you how you can access all you need to get certified. Hi, it's Fran from Packet Forwarding. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to check out the content we have available on the channel for network engineers. Let's jump in. Reason number one, Juniper DevOps Associate, it's easier for someone new to network automation. I think we all know that network automation could be somewhat overwhelming, especially for someone new to programming. The Cisco DevNet Associate is a great certification, so don't get me wrong here. However, the amount of content it covers, combined with the limited training available, makes it kind of a pain for beginners. This is why it's better to go first for the Juniper DevOps, which has a straightforward blueprint and great learning documentation. You can cover about everything you need to get certified in just a few hours of study. Reason number two. The JNCIA DevOps covers the majority of the Cisco DevNet Associate topics. The Juniper DevOps exam blueprints covers about 70% of the Cisco DevNet Associate so you will be almost ready to take the Cisco DevNet certification. The only pending items will be Cisco related topics such as Cisco NSO and Cisco managed Python libraries. Reason number three. You can study for the Juniper DevOps and get certified completely free. This to many of us is the tiebreaker. You can study and get Juniper DevOps certified without spending a penny. And I know there's a lot of free learning stuff on the Cisco DevNet side. However, it's all over the place. You don't have a free systematic way of studying all you need to get certified. Now, Juniper has a dedicated training for the DevOps certification that covers the entire exam blueprints. Plus, you can literally take the real exam for free which you can do by just passing the voucher exam on Juniper Genius. Don't worry if you don't have access to Juniper Genius yet, we got you covered on that. We made a video recently on this channel on how to set up your free Juniper Genius account and how to access all the free certification training available on that platform. We're gonna make sure to leave you a link for that here. Now, for you to get the most out of the DevOps certification course, you are going to need access to a Juniper device, which could be a physical or virtual appliance. In the case of the virtual appliance, there are multiple ways for you to get something like the Juniper VSRX. One of them is to get it from a Juniper website, but that requires a Juniper account with a valid maintenance contract. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it if you don't have a Juniper account, by just doing some basic search on the internet. Now, once you have the virtual appliance, you can run it on something like VMware Player. All right, if you got any value out of this video, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, do us a favor by sharing this video with anyone that could benefit from it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.